Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Leo. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. So, oh my God, Leo. Now, this could be your energy. Please keep that in mind or that it could be the other person's energy. Only you will know. Okay, so... If this is happening to you, if this is the other person's energy, they are definitely keeping you in the dark about how they really feel about you, okay? About their desires for the future for you. They've got this whole fantasy uh, going on about you and them in the future, but it's theirs alone, okay? So it's like they haven't told you about this. You have in fact, no idea. I feel like you uh, you are not together, but you could still be talking. Um, but they are not letting you know that they are still in love with you. Okay? So, because we have this, you see... Uh, we have this sword, so, and, and, oh my God, look at this. So, they have this, they have, we have this sword, and it's kind of stuck in the mountain here, you know. And, um, and so, what this is telling me is that either communication is stopped and you're not talking because uh, the relationship hit an obstacle or this person felt like it did, okay, or they themselves hit an obstacle when it came to uh, getting what they wanted, um, or you are talking but you're not getting the whole truth <clears throat> because they're too afraid to, okay? Um, they were not ready to tell you, to tell you how they feel, in the past um, but I feel like they will be soon that's what this card would suggest and that's what these cards are also suggesting so meanwhile though <clears throat> this is what you are in the dark about um, or this is you keeping someone in the dark about how you really feel there's the books, and the books are closed. We also have this wine glass. So the, the knowledge that's in these books is that this person would love to wine and dine you, would love to, you know, take it further, uh, would love to have this uh, romantic uh, interlude with you, um, would like to romance you, among, you know, other things. Um and um, there they are, sitting there, thinking. He is the thinker, and you can clearly see that by his posture, okay? So, and what is he thinking about? Well, look at the next card. Look how the spotlight is down there. Uh, very, it's not exactly on the couple, but it's very, very close, and they would like to move it into that spotlight, okay? But this card also, it, it's like uh, light and shadow. It's like um, there are, are doubts uh, surrounding whether or not they can make this work, okay? Maybe they're lacking confidence, but they definitely love you. Oh my goodness, they do. I feel like um, there's some very deep emotions when it comes to uh, loving you. When it comes to uh, when it comes to this uh, fantasy, this dream that they have. You know, because this 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 is about longing. It is about dreaming. This is what they are doing. Um, there they are right there. Look, you have the moon card here. This is about longing and dreaming. Look at that. That is what they are dreaming about. So, being very uh, intimate. So, this person still wants you and they want you badly and they're not telling you. Okay, they're not revealing this to you, at least not yet. I believe that they want to, but I believe that 
it frightens them, okay? They're constantly looking over their shoulder. So when they left you, okay, they're looking back at this ring in the heart because uh, they left with this information and they kind of shot themselves in the foot, you know? So there is regret for this action of leaving. Um, I feel like they held back information about their feelings for you and where they really wanted this relationship to go or how deep uh, they wanted it to go. Uh, the ring can also signify things that come around or come back around. And so this is them wanting to come back around in the future because they love you. Um, and they're looking over here at judgment. So to wipe that slate clean and to, to have a fresh new start with you. These are things they dream about. This is the, These are things they are longing for. They're longing for this. They're longing for your love, basically. I feel like they may have done something that they really regret. They could have said something or or acted strangely even because of the moon. The moon can make us act strangely. And so they may have acted strangely. Um, maybe they felt out of sorts at that time, um, you know, and um, did something that they now regret because here they are in the Five of Swords energy, but their pride uh, is probably keeping them there. This is somebody who is very, very prideful, okay? Um, so the ego is holding them prisoner here. But they want to heal this, and this is what they're asking themselves. So that while they're sitting here in this energy uh, alone <laughs> with their ego, all right, what they really want is not to be there. What they really want is to be telling you how much they love you. That's what they really want to do. They're afraid of the tower. They're afraid of what that might do if they should let that truth out, if they should speak that truth. What might happen? That's what frightens them. Um, they kind of feel in some way like maybe uh, either either they're feeling that you pushed them out or maybe they're regretting having pushed you out because they want you back here. Um, they're, they're looking for uh, a solution with the sun. They're looking for clarity uh, as to whether or not this could actually happen. There was a communication breakdown between you two. There could have been a misunderstanding also. This could have involved uh, a third party even, um, jealousy, competition. Um, now they are being required to step into the unknown, especially with the moon and the wheel of life here. And so they are being required to step into this opportunity blind. And that is going to take a lot of courage on their part, okay, because they've been hurt before. And um, I, I actually feel like they've been hurt before and that it is a wound that happened a long time ago and I feel like it has they have been carrying it and uh, actually this is now a good time to have a look at that wound because they have deep repressed feelings with the moon being here uh, the subconscious mind with the moon being here and uh, and so I feel like um, it, it is very possible that this person has had some bad experience uh, in life or bad experiences, but they would have started, uh, even if there had been more than one, it's actually the original one, the source of it all, where it all began. That's where they have to go to, to heal and to set themselves free, you know. And there you go, <laughs> the three of wisdom. This is about, about finding your way out of a dark place. Well, that's how you do it, because you want this new beginning. You want this new beginning. Looking over his shoulder, see, uh, looking back and feeling like he missed an opportunity. Looking at the details of being able to start over again. Looking at the details of being able to possibly build this uh, a real future, uh, you know, 
his dream to make it come true, really, because he has the vision. He just needs to take action on it. <clears throat> he knows what he wants, and he knows what he needs to do. And there, <laughs> there he is. Oh, my God. So there he is, standing in the doorway of this opportunity. The arch indicates a doorway. The mountain behind indicates an obstacle. And so there is an obstacle that he would very much like to put behind him. Okay, I feel like he's missing, he's missing information, or he feels like he's missing information. And um, he still, either way, he must take a risk. Even to go and get this information will require a risk of him. And he will have to lay down his shield there and, um, and, and take off some of his armor uh, in order to enter into this, uh, this new opportunity. Okay? Because if he comes in this way, it's probably just going to end badly. So he needs to remove that armor let down his guard and speak from his heart speak the truth yes there you go there's the next card and that's what it is about okay the convenenza this the convenenza is about uh facing one's fears speaking one's truth removing oh my god look at that removing the armor look at the armor is scattered on the ground and the sword the armor the helmet everything's on the ground and he's basically bared himself. Uh, uh, he's, he's like naked. <laughs> and so this is, this is what he needs to do, you know. Um, he needs to remove that armor that he's been wearing all this time and um, just be himself and speak from the, from the heart, speak his truth. That's what he needs to do. Go after that opportunity that he wants so badly, you know. It's sitting up there in his options. <laughs> and it is what he wants to do. And he's looking at it. And it is the desired cup that he wants. Um, but he wants to really be sure he's making the right choice. So he's thinking about it. And it is taking time. He or she, you know. I say he because it is a, a, a male figure on, on the card. But I mean... It, could just as well be a female and so he's in this uh, hangman energy here and thinking and seeking answers and he, re he receives them he finds them so he knows what he has to do he just simply has to uh, put his best foot forward here and step into the opportunity and just you know, just like leave the armor at the door. Leave the armor over here at the doorway. Step into this opportunity and speak his truth. I th and and I, I, I think it will be a very rewarding experience for him because I feel like that armor begins to get heavy, you know. It's, it's heavy. He's been wearing it for a long time, so I can feel the weight of it. It's time to set himself free from that armor. It's time to lay down that shield. And it's time to speak his truth, to speak what's in his heart. And so that's exactly what he will do. He wants to talk. There's a reunion. And he wants to share something with you. Okay. He's found some new information. And this has helped him to step into this opportunity. Uh, he's been alone and thinking for quite some time in his little tower over here. And now he's on his way to you. He's on his way to solve a mystery. He's on his way to solve a mystery. Do they love me? That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.